this is going to be a little painting of a horse he used to own. So it's from this very old, sort of dim, faded reference photo out of one of my like, old school photo albums. But that means that I get to use my memory and a little bit of artist license to create a really dynamic little scene, interpreting the reference to show the movement and the emotion of seeing the horses galloping in the twilight. I've chosen here to start with the brightest areas and paint them in first, laying those brights down in the direction of the clouds to create that movement in the sky. Here I'm just building up a little bit of color around that sun and I'll just speed that up for a few seconds. I'm starting to lay in some of the brighter colors. This particular sky is on the more pastel-y side of the sunset spectrum, so I'm going with some softer yellows and an almost sherbet kind of an orange. Note how I'm starting up close to my brightest spot, the sun there, and I'm going to be radiating the color out from there. bright sky down and I'm cutting in around the outlines of the elements in the painting, like the horses and the barn. These elements will be sort of silhouetted in the final painting, so I do want there to be a nice crisp line between them and the sky. liking these colors. They're just so pretty. Here's some more areas of those orangey yellows. I'm laying them in and then I'm going back and just softening the edges a bit. back and I'm adding some of my brightest bright onto that sun just to make sure it stays the very brightest spot as I continue. Just a bit more of this color, this pretty yellow near the skyline to blend in before we jump up into those clouds. Just like I painted in those brightest brights to hold the space for those in the very beginning, you'll also see me doing that with colors as I move through the painting. I want to pop in just spots of the color first so that they stay clean and fresh as I begin adding more layers. Repeating some of the steps from earlier, like here where I'm bringing some brighter white in to soften up my colors for that pastel effect. Now I'm just taking a moment to firm up the, the brightness of my sun again. Now it's really time to begin work on those clouds. Pops of radiating light will help me to keep the focus on the movement of the clouds in the sky. You can see me filling in some color between the rays while keeping a hint of those lines there just so I don't lose that feeling of movement. 
I'm also beginning to bring in some magenta variations into the colors. Even though most of the sky is in pastel shades, there are some pops of blue sky that are showing at the top. That's what you see going in here. So time for some magenta and just a teeny bit of a darker blue that's going to create a slightly darker violet tone in above some of these clouds like shadows up on their top side and that just creates more depth on the side of the clouds away from the bright sun. Also some more blue sky is going in. Notice the blue of my sky is darker on this corner since it's the furthest away from the setting sun and it's beginning to take on more of a twilight look. And just this one little area, bright pastel sky needs to be filled in near this other horse. area of sky, I'll be first blending and softening. Then I'm adding just some little brush strokes to indicate little puffs of clouds up there in that corner. And with just a tiny bit more blending, little detail work, a few little puffy clouds added in, we can call this sky done. Mm -hmm. 